right, everybody, at 16 years old, my next guest has turned his passion for sneakers into a real life dream with a little help from his old man. Now together, they run in one of the most innovative shoe businesses in America. Please welcome Chase and his dad, Troy. <laughs> Chase, tell us about the business, man. Well, the business is doing pretty well right now. We pawn sneakers, sell sneakers, refurbish, brand new and used, customize, and basically the pawning is you give us a sneaker, we give you money. Every 30 days, you pay a dollar a day. So you get it? Like, a dollar a day, so 30, and then, so if you come back in 60 days, you get $60 on the shoe. Oh, I understand the pawn system. Yeah, I, I'm just saying, I'm just, <laughs> I, I pawned yeah. other things. <laughs> How'd you come up with this, man? Well, I came up with the idea. Basically, I was, I got to high school and I wanted to look nice. So I just started collecting sneakers and I was collecting sneakers. My father would take me out to the lines and there's something called reselling. And we would sell to stores that's just like us now. And we would sell to stores and get, you know, money off of the sneakers and it was doing pretty well. So we ended up opening our first sneaker pawn shop. Where do you get the shoes from? Explain that so people understand. So we stand online, or well now other people stand online and they'll buy sneakers for retail prices. When you say stand me. online, tell stand me. on sneaker lines at Foot Locker or other other big brands, and they would stand online and then go get a shoe and then bring it to us. So say you get 30 pairs of Jordans, which is $200 each, and you'll bring them to us, and then we'll probably pay a little bit over box price, and we'll go and resell them for you know however much the shoe goes for. So you got the limited shoe at yeah. your store now. Yeah. So a shoe you're not going to find again probably for the next five years or even ever is going to be at our Okay, store. but do you also do used shoes? Yes. We Can do somebody use, bring? How, how does that work? Used shoes, basically, we'll take an exclusive sneaker and we'll, we'll analyze it and tell you, you know, whether we can take it or not. This is a used sneaker right here. Yeah, this is a used sneaker right here. And and this, this... this sneaker, the original price was $7,200. Going used right now, that's a $5,000 shoe still. Going used. So it just gives you an example of how valuable sneakers. Sneakers is like Herman bags and Louis Vuitton bags. What? <laughs> yeah. 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 This shoe is $5,000 used. This shoe is $5,000. $5,000 <laughs> for a used sneaker. Man, you can go to Tom Ford <laughs> <laughs> and get some damn gator. <laughs> this is a $5,000 yeah. shoe? It's a $5,000 shoe. That's and the that's, only one that came in that size. And that's something that's sitting in people's closets. And they need cash, they need money. So Sneaker Pawn coming on the scene was just like, wow, you know what, I could liquidate this and get some cash and get some money in its shoes and Sneaker Pawn still So continues. a guy could come in with this shoe that's worth five. Yes. yes. He needs some money. Yes. You be in a pawn shop, you're not gonna give him five. No, no. we give him $500 for that shoe. You give him 500. 500. Now worst case scenario, he doesn't come, come back. back. We can sell the shoe for $2,500 and we still, you know, Chase still made a good profit on his money. So that's just how the numbers is in the sneaker game that's just emerging every single day. The business okay. is really taking off though, huh? Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's taking his first store and now taking it, you know, his second store he's about to do is trying to do it in Times Square. So that's where he started up his own stick um, Kickstarter called Times Sneaker Pawn. Square. Yeah. yeah, cause you got so many tourists, like. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much money down there? Yeah. Yeah. That, um... I don't know if your father ever told you this, but I'm your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So you're looking to franchise this business yes, out? Yes, franchise this business. Hopefully, um, well, with the Kickstarter, hopefully that brings us to where we go out to 42nd Street or even L.A. and possibly here in Chicago. Whew, L.A. be hot. Yeah. And definitely overseas is a bigger, yeah. 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 Overseas in L.A., I think that would be even bigger. What is this like for you? I mean, this is your son. I mean, I'm probably one of the most happiest dads in America right now. You know, just for the mere simple fact, like, I come from the street. So actually, all the mistakes that I did wrong in life, I'm actually getting them right to him right now. So that's <laughs> like, you know, it's just like a, it's like I got a second start. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting a fresh start and a second start. And that's what I tell him every day, like, you know, get it right for me. You know, so that's just kind of our concept, you know. Wow. Where we had a lot of tug and war on that for a little bit, and I just told him, trust me with, with your business, and then, you know, let me trust you as a child. And let's just go out and conquer the world. So, like I said, it's, it's just amazing to me to wake up every day and go work for my son and watch You work for your son. I work for my son. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 
I want to say thank you, Chase, man. Great job, man. Great job. Great idea. Thank you, Troy, forever, man. I like that. This is real good.